Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lisa Hughes with this WBZ News Update. Three inmates charged with Whitey Bulger's prison murder have taken plea deals. The 89-year-old gangster was found beaten to death in his cell in West Virginia back in 2018. All three of the men involved pleaded guilty, according to new court documents. The details of the deal are not yet public. Federal authorities want to fine a Watertown contractor in connection with a worker's death. OSHA is proposing a fine of more than $88,000 for OJR construction. Last September, one of its workers died after falling 27 feet at a site on Elko Street in Brighton. OSHA says its inspectors found the company failed to follow safety rules, and as a result, that worker was at risk. And a Boston man is facing federal charges for allegedly aiming a high-powered laser at a Coast Guard helicopter. This happened last September as the helicopter was trying to land at Mass General Hospital for a training mission. Well, gorgeous Monday. Lovely way to start the week. Let's get a check of the forecast now with Eric. Mm, it was a beaut and a pretty nice night to start this evening, but we'll see some increasing clouds. There's a chance for a couple of passing showers late tonight into early tomorrow morning. Then any early clouds will clear out. We're looking at a summery day tomorrow. Shorts and t-shirt weather, southwest wind, which means the cool spots will be on the south coast and the Cape. Our warmer spots toward the Merrimack Valley. Boston may hit 80 for the first time so far this year. Temperatures are at Logan Airport. We've seen a lot of sea breeze days, so it's been cooler there. Last year, we didn't have to wait long. April 13th this year is later than average. The average first 80 is on May 1st in Boston. Wednesday, we're in the 70s, a slight chance of a shower. Thursday, a little better chance of showers in the 60s to perhaps around 70 if we can get a good amount of sunshine. But overall, pretty comfortable start to this week. Lisa? Looks great. Eric, thank you. And thanks for being with us. This has been a WBZ News Update.